In this exercise, I'm going to show you how to assign paragraph level formatting attributes, which are text formatting attributes that affect entire paragraphs at a time. I'm working inside this document called lorem-ipsum.ind.d, found inside the exercise files folder, so called because it begins with the words lorem-ipsum, which are the first two words of classic placeholder text. I'm going to double click inside of this text block here with my selection tool in order to switch over to the type tool and activate the text. And then I'm just going to drag over this region of text here so that I have some portion of all of the paragraphs selected. Notice your paragraph formatting options on the right side of the control panel. You can switch the side of the control panel that they appear on by clicking on these buttons here. If I click on the paragraph icon, then I'll switch the paragraph level formatting attributes up front, and I'll send the character level formatting attributes to the right. If I click on the character icon, then I'll switch them back to the way they were before. So it's a matter of assigning precedent. Notice these options right here control alignment. For example, you could center the text if you wanted to, or you could make it flush right. In my case, I prefer to go ahead and justify the text while leaving the last line flush left, like so. The paragraphs are a little hard to distinguish at this point. We could better distinguish them by adding a bit of first line indent. And as opposed to doing that using a tab character or multiple spaces, your best bet is to change this value right here. So I'll click on this option in order to activate that value. Then I'll press the up arrow key just to nudge that value over to the right. And once I find a setting I like, I can go ahead and press the enter return key. But I'll tell you what, I think there's a better way to distinguish paragraphs than first line indent. So I'm going to go ahead and change that value back to zero. And I'm going to switch to this option right here, which allows you to apply space before each one of the active paragraphs. I'll click on this option to activate its value. Then I'll press the up arrow key in order to raise that value. And something around 0p6 looks pretty good, which is to say 6 points or half a pica. Now let's go ahead and add a drop cap to the first paragraph of type. I'll do that just by clicking anywhere inside this first paragraph. Then I'll go up to this option right here that allows me to specify how many lines of type I want my drop cap to consume. So I'll click in this value and I'll take it up one, two, three lines of type like so. InDesign goes ahead and drop caps the first character, but you can raise that value to drop cap two or three or four characters if you like. I'm going to take it back down to just the first A. Now notice how the A, because it's set in courier at this point, it's overlapping into the text in the third line. I don't want that, so I'm going to nudge the text over a little bit by clicking between the A and the S in this first word. Now the formatting attribute that I want to apply is not visible by default, so I need to switch from the Essentials workspace by clicking on the word Essentials, and I'll switch to Topography so that we can see some more type options. And notice that several options got added to the control panel. Thanks to the fact I'm working on a narrow screen, I can't even see the paragraph formatting attributes anymore. So I would need to use these buttons to switch back and forth. I'm going to go to this option right here, which is called kerning. It affects the amount of space between two characters of text. I'll click on that option to select its value. Then I'm going to press the up arrow key to nudge that text and the two lines below it over to the right. And we get this effect right here. Now I'll press the Enter key in order to assign that value, or the Return key on the Mac. Then I'll press the Escape key in order to deactivate my text and switch back to my Selection tool. And there you have it, a primer of sorts on paragraph-level formatting attributes in InDesign.